So new board time. We've got a SIC bullet 14 by 27.25 in this bag. The really exciting thing about this, obviously it's a first look video, yes it doesn't come in a bag like this when it comes out of a box, it does come out of a box and it's in a bag, but I think it's brand new in there. But the really exciting thing about this is we're going about we're going to do a series on downwinding. And we're going to talk about getting you into downwinding from the very first steps using basic boards and also using really performance specific boards like this bullet here. So it's going to be nice to use this board, really get to use of it. And uh, this is the 2019 version, so exciting. So this is the, what have we got here? Oh, the single carbon composite version. There's me, thought it was tough wood. Whoa. Oh. So the thing about downwind boards, opposed to some race boards, and this one's a really good case of it, it's got to give you a nice, flat standing area in the middle so it's not really recessed so you've still got room to move around the board some downwind boards have got super recessed board, um, sort of canoe shaped boards but the SIC stuff is really nice gives you a nice big flat standing area all the way back to the tail it's got a it's reducing the the rails are a bit thicker at the top here obviously to stop water getting around the board and making it a bit easy to surf but actually it lowers the deck in the middle there so it's nice and gives you a, a slightly lower feeling on the water, which is a bit more, gives you a better feel of the board on the water. It's a very simple styling. It's pretty light. I think it's 13.2 kilos they recommend, is it? 12.4. Wow. For a 14 foot board. Actually, yeah, that is light. So like Mark Rappos with his designing is very simple. It's not like some other brands with loads of big concaves. It's very simple, subtle designs, very fast, very good at catching glide. Looks like a small concave right through the middle of the board there. Real pulled in at the tail there. So when you do get back on the tail, you are going to be able to turn it and maneuver it on a wave. It's going to link up downwinding, remember. It's catching a wave down a river, down an estuary, down open, open seas trying to link up little bumps to catch more waves and this is the sort of board that is going to do that really well. Nice amount of nose kick, just like a stretch super size surfboard to bring that nose out if you're going down the wave. And again, a small bit of nose shape on the front there to disperse the water off the front if you start to nose dive. Bungee area, because this again, is this a bit of a touring board as well? You could use this as a, there, there, there you go, fitness touring down window. It's a very nice looking shape. This is the version 2 of it, 14 by 27.25. It's definitely, I've said it the last time, it's the best handle in the business. Um, it's a very good looking, well finished product. Really looking forward to getting that on the water. Remember, this is not a review. This is just a first look of impressions of this board. This is the first time I've seen this new board. Um, looks gorgeous, finish is perfect. Let's have a look at the fin. at the fin then oh my word that is oh so full carbon that doesn't weigh anything in fact i think that, that even weighs the same as that weedless seven inch oh, that's the nicest fin i've ever seen come from a production board without a doubt i mean when you're talking about carbon and weight and finish that's stunning Okay, well we'll get it on the water, we'll do a full review of this board and there's going to be a downwind series with this board and lots of other stuff. So any questions remember let us know, but until next time we'll see you on Supporter. Cheers.